spent just a second in East Baltimore, you knew. You heard all the legendary stories and tonight, finally getting their just due. 60 years after pulling off the greatest feat with their feet. Baltimore Pompey is going into the Hall of Fame. Bo Sorok, Judge Phil, and Coach Pete tell us why this hometown team was too good to be true. The Neighborhood Kids. Bouncer, the wheel, Big Tom. Bo knows, Judge Phil, fill us in. I mean, I remember Eels, I remember Bobo. Um, Eels, right, thanks. And, and the face, of course, his brother. And the legendary Pete Karinji grew up idolizing these guys. Tom Caranta, John Pachalk, Joe Specka, I mean, these guys were all legends of the game. Look at these pictures from the glory days from 1958. Just incredible pictures that have been in a safe deposit box for years, broken out tonight to brag. How good? Uh, we were the best at the time. This team, I believe, is the best team that Baltimore and the U.S., for that matter, um, has ever seen. The star was Bo Bo's brother Larry, the face. Maybe the greatest this city has ever seen. He was the best. He was the best. And most grew up on one street, Claremont Street, here in Highland Town. There's no street like Claremont Street. Every house was a soccer player. You spent your summer nights sitting on the marble steps, and then you went to Our Lady of Pompeii to play. Why soccer? Why was soccer the... Soccer, well, to tell you the truth, because of the poor neighborhood, everybody didn't have uniforms and stuff like they have today. You have your Under Armour duffel bag today? They had nothing. I had a shopping bag. You never had any bags like the kids do today. You have your pillow padded shin guards. They had nothing. We used to use magazines, put them inside our socks. The magazines protect our legs. This little neighborhood church club in 1958 became a national power, playing for a national championship at Kirk Avenue Stadium. 7,500 were here this day. But they were the pioneers, really, for Baltimore soccer. Baltimore Pompey lost to Los Angeles 2-1 to one in overtime. It was just amazing. It would be like Perry Hall wreck playing the Ravens. Baltimore's always been known as a tough, gritty city, and you had a tough, gritty soccer team. 1958, the year the Colts beat the Giants in the greatest game, but also the year Baltimore Pompey made a name for itself. And tonight, the four living members from the neighborhood are now all Hall of Famers. Talk about 60 years later. You know, that something like this would happen. You'll be a Hall of Famer, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, so they were big before soccer was big. Right. Well, isn't that something? It's a great they story. They all grew up on the same street in Highland Town. Player Ma. That's it. All right, the Baltimore Pompey went into the Soccer Hall of Fame tonight. It was held over Columbus Gardens, so we want to thank, uh, thank Judge Phil and Coach and also Bo. Thanks, guys. Great pictures.